Um, which is better, a 24-bit 192 or a 32-bit 96? The former, not the latter. So sample rate is far more important than bit depth, as long as the bit depth is reasonable. So bit depth is dynamic range and granularity, okay? So how fine of bits we can break it into in, in terms of uh, steps of dynamic range and how much dynamic range we can get. So 16 bits gives you 96 dB dynamic range, which is almost 30 dB more than you get with a, an LP. And the hot, and 18 bits gets you more. Uh, what is it? 12 dB more or something? I forget how it all works. But uh, you can get up to 140 or so dB of dynamic range, which is way more than anybody needs. Truth is, truth be told, as my friend would always say, 16 bits is pretty dang good. 100 dB of dynamic range used well by a recording engineer can just, I mean, some CDs, uh, which and all CDs are 16 bits. Um, I mean, they have dynamics that are to die for, and high resolution sounds great. But when we talk about high definition audio, when we talk about something that is highly resolving, we're talking about sample rate. Sample rate is how often I take a little snapshot of the moving frequencies called music. So in a CD, every 44,000 times a second, I'm taking a snapshot, which means, according to this guy's theory, which was the Nyquist theory, I can capture up to 20 kilohertz, and then, man, I better be out of there real quick. As you go on higher sample rates, you can collect higher frequencies, and you can use less steep filters to get rid of what we call aliasing, because we don't want, if the system's only capable of bringing in this high of a frequency, then we have to make sure that we don't ever present something higher or you'll get distortions. That's the aliasing. So you don't want to do that. So the higher the sample rate, the higher the frequencies that we can grab, the more relaxed the filter can be, and the better it sounds, always. So always think about sample rate. I would much rather have a 176 sample rate at 16 bits than I would a 96 or an 88 kilohertz sample rate and 24 bits. You're going to get much better sound the other way. Briefly, let's touch on DSD. DSD is a one-bit system, but it's very different than PCM. So PCM is a multi-bit system, and PDM, pulse density modulation, is typically a one-bit system. And that's where we have a consistent number of bits, either on or off, that, that have greater density or less density. And it's very much like analog, very much like analog. PCM is a code that will tell us how high and low and at what speed things run at. And it's very much not like analog. So we, we stick very much with DSD because it's so much better analog sounding than PCM. Now. One bit in a PCM system, it's going to get noise. So it won't work. So you can't really relate the two. So more bits in a PCM system, there's a minimum number of bits that you're going to have to have. And I'd call that 16. In a PDM system or DSD, that one bit is running at such a high speed. What's it running at? Uh, well, 64. You do the math. I forgot what, what it is. It's 64 times 44 one. 2.5 megahertz or something. It's running very, very quickly. So we hit, you know, do, 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 very quickly. So 1x DSD is 64 times a CD speed or sample rate. And double rate DSD is 128 times, all of that. But we'll get into that later. As, as we develop our Octave Records YouTube channel. By the way, if you haven't signed up for the Octave Records YouTube channel, I suggest you do. 
go find it. We, we put a lot of effort into helping people understand how recordings are made. We're sharing music with you. It's a pretty cool channel. So find, go, go look up Octave Records on our YouTube channel and, and join me there for more of this <laughs> if you haven't had enough already. All right. Thanks. Talk to you later.